got you something. You did? What is it? It's it's nothing really. Can I see it? I got you something too. Really? Yeah, come on. Hello, Scorpions. I'm your anchor, Matthew Sanford, for Scorpion News today. It's Black History Month, and BACU and Link Crew will be honoring Rosa Parks at lunch next Friday, February 21st, in the quad. Hey, come out to support your fellow Scorpions in a talent show at Sultana High School at 6 p.m. Tickets are now selling, and you can get them from Talent Show Act members for $7. Attention, class of 2016, your orientation will be February 20th and registration will be February 24th through 28th. Don't forget. Now, let's take a look at what Brandy Williams is going to teach us for ASL and to Oscar for Q-tips on chocolate. Hey there, I'm Brandi Williams filling in for Daniel Sager for the ASL segment. Since love is in the air, I'm going to show you how to sweet talk the one you love by signing you're beautiful, which is also the same sign for you're handsome, like this, you're beautiful, and again, you're beautiful, and last time, you're beautiful. And remember, you're beautiful also means you're handsome and sign language. Now I'm going to show you how to sign I love you, like this. I love you. But, most common, but the most common sign used for it is the simple hand gesture, like this. I love you. And again, I love you. Last time, I love you. Well, that's all for the ASL segment. I hope you have a Happy Valentine's Day. And remember, you're beautiful or handsome, and I love you. Hello. I'm Oscar Aguilar bringing you today's Q-tips about chocolate. You might think chocolate is bad for you, but it can be good. Chocolate can be healthy for you in many ways, especially dark chocolate. According to the online website, thedailybeast.com, chocolate decreases your risk of having a stroke. The reason why is because chocolate contains flavonoids whose antioxidant properties fight against strokes. Also, have you ever had a bad cough with no medicine around? Well, according to Dr. Wheel, if you eat a piece of chocolate, it will help soothe your throat. Chocolate has theobromine that soothes the vag's nervous, which is responsible for coughing. Well, that's it for today's Q-tips. Remember to eat some chocolate here and now to reduce your risk of having a stroke. And when you ever have a bad cough, pop a piece of chocolate in. Wow, thanks Oscar for that interesting information on chocolate. And great job, Brandy. Scorpions, don't be scared to ask that special person to be your Valentine tomorrow. Don't forget, teachers, progress reports are due tomorrow. Attention to the class of 2014. Sweaters and t-shirts are still available in the student store, so go get yours now. All seniors wear your sweatshirts or t-shirts tomorrow. Have you ever wondered what broadcasting is like? Well, Jessica and I have a highlight for you. After that, we'll head over to Jericho and Oscar for your Scorpion Sports. Welcome back to the show. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I joined broadcasting because when I saw Scorpion News for the first time, I was like, wow, that is cool, and I want to learn how to do that. The qualities we need to possess for broadcasting are being able to be time efficient, uh, manage, well, managing time wisely, being able to work with your class members, and also being able to work outside of class, too. I really like how everyone just loves and interacts with each other so well. My favorite thing about broadcasting is being studio director because I like helping people develop their skills and keeping everyone on track. A good broadcasting student like should really be dedicated. And most of the things we do are really fun, from videos and interviews and everything. When you join broadcasting, you're gonna form a relationship with like all the students. 
any advice to give to you guys is just stay on top of it and don't slack off. No texting. My favorite part about being in broadcasting is being able to work on a team and create something cool and being able to broadcast to them. Hello Scorpions, I'm Jericho Velasco. And I'm Oscar Aguilar, and we're here with this episode's sports segments. For today's sports segment, we interview the coaches of this season's sports. Boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, and wrestling. Check, Check it out. My name is Jeff Hallett, I'm the athletic director here at Asperia High School. Currently in the winter season, we have boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, and wrestling. Some big games we played, uh, probably the last one when we played Asperia Christian here at home. Uh, because they're our number one ranked team for their division and we ended up pulling out the win. So that was a big game for us. Um, and our next big game coming up is senior night. It's Wednesday the 12th and we expect a good crowd. So uh, we're looking forward to that game. A week and a half ago we played Sultana and we beat them 2-1. to one. It was a really good game. Um, it was a big win for us. We, we've uh, struggled a little bit in the past and um, so that win was a our first league win in two years. And this year we played some pretty big games against Monrovia, um, also against Montclair, who beat us last year in the uh, first round of CIF. So um, we got a chance to play them again, and we beat them this year. So that was a good thing for the boys. Probably this year was uh, against Oak Hills. Um, it was at Oak Hills. We'd never beaten them before. And um, kind of a, uh, a big deal there. Is there anything you want to say to the school? Yes, just come out, come out for soccer. Come check it out. I mean, uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we have a single spotlight over top of the mat. Uh, it gets pretty intense. Anyone that's interested in being part of the basketball program, we're gonna be working extremely hard starting this spring and summer, so come on out. Just to my soccer girls, um, a lot of these girls, my seniors, I've had since junior high, and I'm sad to see them go, but excited to see what they have um, to offer the world out there. What sports are you looking forward to? Uh, March, we have five more uh, sp sports about to start actually in the middle of February. Uh, we have track and field uh, for boys and girls, obviously. Uh, we have softball, baseball, um, boys tennis, and golf. A big shout out to the coaches and the players this year. Good job. Good luck in CIF. Bring home a championship. That's all for today's sports. I'm Jericho. And I'm Oscar. Till next time. Ooh-wee, we sure have fun in this class. If you're gonna be a junior or a senior next year, think about joining. And good job, guys, on that sports segment. Hut, hut, hike! Potter Puff is almost here. What well, class will take the victory this year? Don't miss the pep rally on the 28th of this month. Also, after the Potter Puff games, there will be a hypnotist comedy show at 6.30 on the same day. Tickets are $5 with ASB and $6 without. And for adults, it's $7. You can get any of these tickets from the following teachers. Ms. Barnes, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Padilla, Mrs. Carlson, and Ms. Mrs. Rumler, or any avid student. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the intramural basketball tournament. It's only a buck, so head down to the quiet at lunch tomorrow. Interested in a dental career? The ROP dinner class will be holding an orientation on March 4th at 5 o'clock at the Alternative Ed Center in Room 17. Black and Gold Regiment is holding a recycling drive next weekend on Saturday, February 22nd at the district office on Main Street from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Recycle your cans and bottles and help our Black and Gold Regiment. Teachers and club advisors, please send us any information you want included in our next broadcast. You can text us at 760-713-6575, email us at hesperiabroadcasting.com, or send us a tweet at Scorpion News. While that's it for your Scorpion News, don't forget, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Show your loved ones how much you care.